so welcome students so in last video we have studied about the reaction intermediates we have seen its preparations we have seen its structures then we have seen the different questions based on reaction intermediates so as in when i'll be doing as i'm doing the different uh, je in each series i'll be doing different different questions based on goc please be a part of that and keep watching it now in today's class we'll be studying about the isomerism concept so now i've come to goc 1 so i'll be gradually doing all the concepts so whenever i speak about isomerism what is isomerism it, it is the study of organic chemistry means basically here iso means same similar merism mer means unit merism means the study of that so isos means equal meros means parts let us write that isomerism in this isos means equal this particular thing meros meros means parts let us see this so in isomerism when i have to speak there are a particular classification first we will learn that then come back to the examples so isomerism is basically studied under two headings one is structural isomerism and one more is stereo isomerism okay right so again structural isomerism we have different categories that is chain isomerism it is also called as nuclear isomerism we'll be learning about position isomerism or positional or positional isomerism we'll be studying about functional isomerism we'll be studying about metamerism which i already did metamerism i already discussed please watch tautomerism also stereoisomerism is again studied under two categories that is geometrical isomerism where we'll be studying what cis and trans isomers and we'll be studying about optical isomerism also optical where i'll be teaching about you know enantiomers diastereomers rnl systems i'll be teaching about all so i'll be clearly explaining what is uh, optical isomerism taking, taking taking different examples so when i go with the first one let's start with the first one that is chain isomerism so simple it is nothing much big let's write chain or it is also called as nuclear isomerism nuclear isomerism so what are we going to see let's see an example and then understand so the other name if i have to say chain it is also called chain isomerism nuclear isomerism or it is also called as skeletal isomerism skeletal isomerism right so basically let me take an example i am taking an example of ethanol and i am taking an example of dimethyl ether I am taking an example of ortho dichlorobenzene and I will be taking one more example of meta dichlorobenzene. Okay, ortho dichlorobenzene, meta dichlorobenzene, I think we will take it in functional isomer, positional isomerism. Let us write here only. I will be taking here positional isomerism. Okay, both I will be explaining in the same page metadichlorobenzene oh, what am i trying to explain let's see so when i have to see the structure of ethanol to uh, carbon chain so let us write ch3 this is ethanol is ch3 h ch h and oh this is ethanol because two carbon chain here dimethyl ether also is two carbon chain ch3 o ch3 now what happened It is the same carbon chain but we are representing in different forms the skeleton has changed so chain isomerism isn't it right so basically the difference or what can we say this type of isomerism arises when there is a difference in structure of carbon chain so here it is arranged like this but here the structure of carbon chain is arranged here so chain isomerism is basically the difference in the structure of carbon chain done yes so let me see position in position isomerism look here i have a 
ring benzene ring here also i have benzene ring i said ortho dichloro so there is one two chlorine rings one at the ortho position one this is meta dichloro one here one here now what are you observing position isomerism is basically the compounds possessing same molecular formula both the molecular formula is same but what are they doing they differ in the difference in position of the functional groups isn't it molecular formula is same c6 h4 cl2 but they differ in the position of the functional groups here it is 1 2 here it is 1 3 so difference in the position of the functional group they differ in the properties also because of the difference so this is your chain isomerism and this is a position isomerism. so in chain isomerism they differ in difference in the structure of carbon chain in position isomerism the difference in the position of the functional group that's where the name is given right students right so let me come back and explain you in the next concept that is functional isomerism very clearly thank you for watching